Good morning, Coronacation. Welcome to day 38. Andrew, how you doing today? I know uh, you're at home because we're all at home, but hey, we've shot a lot of videos at our home and I have yet to see what your crib looks like. And so, Andrew, here is where I sleep at. You can tell I have a little bit of laundry that I missed. Um, got some crazy stuff going on here. I got my Batman clock, some pictures, uh, recording for having better audio quality and, you know, uh, very important things like a diorama of something in Carrollton. I don't know. It's there, but Hey, here is my room. Here's where I sleep at. I'm curious what your room looks like, uh, and make sure you like pick up your underwear before you record this video <laughs> called you out. All right, Andrew, I'm going to put you underneath your pillow. yourself in my room I just don't understand well okay so this is at my room this is where I sleep this is our window closets open uh, and we've gotten a little lazy you can see laundry yeah so this is where I sleep now um, Sam where do you sleep I ain't heard from you in a while where you been man I go to something else. There's four stories. Well, I've only ever been to two. That's because we live on the other two. You see, this here is the home to 60 college students. We live here, we play here, we eat here, right in there. That was the lobby. That's where people like to hang out, they do school, whatever they need to do. Now, down here is the hall because we have two floors that look exactly the same with identical apartments. And so, in here, Ours. Come on, I'm gonna show you guys how we live. It's pretty great. Okay, so come on, come on, come on. Listen, listen, listen. We got four units. Okay. Um, four people live in each apartment. We got four guys in here. So this right here, this is the main cave. You can see our sign up there and everything. Main cave is pretty cool. We got TVs. We got video games. Here's our kitchen. It actually is kind of clean, so don't be surprised. Right there is my best friend Timmy. He keeps our floors clean. He's like, uh, he's kind of the best fifth roommate. And so now, moving on down here, we got one roommate dorm room on the left. We got the most important coffee pots, room and coffee right now. We got a pantry full of food. Let me show you what I mean when I say full pop tarts, pancakes. Oatmeal. What else do you need? It's pretty great in here. It's pretty great in here. Lastly, we have the room. Now, now listen here. The room is messy, but the room is mandatory. Okay, we got the bathroom. Just pretend it's not even there. And we got the room. So this, this is the crib. So if you've ever wondered what the top fo two floors of the uh, city station are, that's what it is. So now you know. Later. You know my jungle animals don't play birthday games? What? Because one of them's a cheetah. Get it? Have you ever heard somebody say it goes in one ear and out the other? See, the reality is sometimes in life it can be like that for us. We hear what somebody says, but it just kind of goes in one ear and right out the other. We often don't really pay attention and let it have the impact that it should have in our lives. See, the truth is, if we allow that to happen, if we allow the truth of Jesus to just go in one ear and out the other, we can miss out on some amazing wisdom that we could really apply in our lives. See, the reality is that there are a lot of amazing things that we want to have poured into our life. But if that's going to happen, we have to pay attention. We have to not just let it go in one ear and out the other. We have to allow it to truly impact our life. See, sometimes people, they have the opportunity to hear the message of Jesus, but they don't pay attention. They don't allow it to truly have an impact in their life. They allow it to just go in one ear and out the other. But the amazing truth is that Jesus does teach us to be wise. But if we are willing to pay attention to His words, to His teachings, then the incredible truth is we know that we really can have a full life, that we can experience His truth and what it really means to make wise choices, when instead of allowing His truth to go in one ear and out the other, we allow it to fill and impact our lives. 
James 1.5 says that if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously without finding fault. It will be given to you. In this world, we are often wondering what the wise next step is for us to make. You know, when we need wisdom, there is one place that we can always search, and that is the scriptures and through the truth of Jesus. See, He always will give us wisdom to do the wise thing and to do what is right. Why is it called a litter of puppies? Because in no time they mess up the house. Okay, Andrew, it's time to play a game. Nailed it or filled it. Pull edition. Summer's almost here. It's getting warmer. Hopefully we'll be able to dive into some pulls. And so I thought it'd be fun to play Nailed It or Failed It. You know how to play. If you think they nailed it, you thumbs up. If you think they failed it, thumbs down. Good luck. We'll see how many you can get right. And maybe you can beat some kids today. I doubt it because kids are way better at games than you. Good luck. Nailed it or here we go, party, pool party edition. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do here is high jump into the pool, and the, the, the high jump that I learned with was you, you just, you kick a leg up, and then you're kind of, kind of flopping into the pool. So that's what we're gonna try to do. All right. Oh, this dude, he's gonna fail it. Here we go. No. Ready? Fail. I'm just going. Okay, three, two, one. No, he, he fails. He failed it for sure. Two, one. <laughs> oh. Got it. All right, here we go. Mm. Failed. Failed. Oh! Got it. Failed. Called that one just in time. These are quick. You count for him, Aaliyah. Failed. Failed. That board doesn't look promising. Failed it. Uh, you count for him, Aaliyah. Oh. Nailed it. He nailed it. Nailed it. Failed it. She nailed it. She nailed it. Hopefully she's gonna swim me. This is embarrassing. Oh, that, that, that was embarrassing. Poor girl. Nailed it. Nailed it. He belly busted. Failed it. I'm going with a fail. Backbuster. This has got bad written all over it. Nailed it. He came up short. I mean, failed it. Sorry, he came up short. Failed it. He came up short. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we did it. Nailed it. Very nice. Just jump. It's not that far. I think he failed it. I think he hit the edge or something. Failed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. Hey, some of those were close and kind of dangerous. Uh, but hey, you know what's awesome is the weather is starting to warm up and we'll be swimming soon, hopefully. Hey, guys, I hope you have a good day. Spend your day outside. It's looking really pretty outside. And we will see you tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing there. Bye, y'all.